after our most electric qualifying yet. Two rivals will sit next to each other on the starting grid, staring down a 180 degree turn before a tricky first sector descends them onto the fastest part of any course that our competitors have seen for this entire season. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. The third Grand Prix of Marbula One, just about ready to go with two splits in the second sector and a speed boost as they head into that far hairpin. We have a pit straight and a front stretch that will lead us into the final turn in front of the grandstand and across the finish line to the conveyor belt. A fast lap with a total length of a little over 12 meters. Three sectors here, and as we've seen from the timing loops, anything can change over the course of it. There you see the starting lineup. Only separated by four hundredths of a second, but what will it be in the race? The lights are on, we're ready to go. And we're rolling around the turn quickly. And a slow start here as the dive begins. Several going high on the curves, couple opting for the inside line, and now to the outside of the first split. It's Clutter who got the jump off the pole. Mallard up into second place, Hazy in third. Team primary, the pole sitters fall all the way back to fourth. Now onto the front stretch and across the line for the first time. Clutter holds the lead, but it's gonna be neck and neck coming off of the belt for second place. A three marble race. Mallard holds the spot, Hazy in third, but now we've got a lead change. Mallard jumps through the first sector and takes the top spot. Around the outside of the first split, now goes to the inside of the second, and that ends up being the wrong way to go. Clutter is losing a little bit of speed here. Mallard. Only watch as Clutter stretches off into the distance. Across the line they come. They are going to be neck and neck again, this time for third place. Clutter's lead a little under two tenths. Primary, and Mallard gets the jump off of the conveyor belt. Mallard and Clutter trying to stretch the lead over Prim from Team Primary. Starry up into fifth right now. Into the far hairpin they go. A little nudge off that Chevron and a bump off the wall. We've got a lead change. Clutter takes the top spot. Mallard and Clutter have been going back and forth several times, and it looks like Clutter will try to protect the inside line coming off the conveyor belt this time. Mallard tries to snake his way through, and now we've got a big bunch up into third place. Primary trying to hold back the floodgates from Hazy and Starry. Going right over that second split there. Clutter doesn't seem to have lost any speed. In fact, the gap seems to be growing a little bit. Mallard trying to track him down, trying to get into the draft. He opts for the inside, does Clutter, and up the conveyor belt they come. This time he'll opt for more the racing line, it appears. And we'll duck to the inside. You see the gaps? And we have a couple of changes back behind that. Looks like the Savage Speeders working their way. Speedy is into fourth. Trying to get a little bit closer to primary, carries some more speed around that turn, and the left-hander is gonna make a move here and loses out, but look at up front. The gap has come all the way down again. Mallard trying to size up Clutter as we enter the start of lap number five. One-tenth between them. It stretches just a little bit on the exit, and now it closes up once again. Looks like everybody's gonna opt for that outside line this time. A couple ducking to the inside. Mallard will take the outside line, and look at the speed boost that it gained. That made a big difference, and now it's anybody's race up front. How does Clutter respond? Coming across here. And having a little bit of trouble, it looked like. Was that Mallard that had all kinds of trouble getting onto the conveyor belt? I know everybody was a little bit concerned after Waspy's incident in the last race. And look at this up front. Neck and neck, and the old Rangers with Clementine take a brief look into second place. They fall back into third now. Clutter still up front, primary, holding station now, trying to get one spot back up to where they started this race from the pole. Laps ticking down though, this race taking a little bit longer to get onto the conveyor belt. There are several that have trouble, Clementine is one of them. Notice there are 13 laps in this race as opposed to the 10 that we've had from the last one. Clutter and Primary have really closed up, opting for different lines here, and they bump against each other. Is Primary gonna have a go on the inside? Yes, he does! Primary have gotten up to the front. Prim making the move. And Prim will try to duck to the inside, and the over-under works for Clutter, who takes the lead right back from Prim. This has been one heck of a race so far. I don't know if anybody's had a chance to breathe. Look at some of the other competitors farther back. This is really stratifying the field. As this race, we could end up seeing some lapped marbles at some point if this continues. Clutter is up front. Hazy has taken second place. Clementon for the Orangers is up into third. Speedy for the Savage Speeders in fourth. They've been consistent thus far. And ooh, a little trouble that time getting onto the conveyor belt, and that's going to elevate Clementine to second place. 
competitors having to walk that fine line of not being too aggressive. The Waspy incident taught them that in the last race. They know the risks that they take coming into this, and it's high risk, high reward. But unfortunately, if it goes wrong, it can go very wrong. They know the risks. They are willing to take them. The lead, growing for clutter, enters the conveyor belt pretty well, as does Clementine and Prim. They're going to be very close, just a length apart as they exit the conveyor belt. A little nudge off the wall might slow them down a little bit. That lets Clutter stretch the lead ever so slightly. Nearly a second and a half up front, heading into the final couple of laps. Takes the speed boost. The top three, top four all do. The more those second place ones battle, the better it is for Clutter. Prim and Clementine, if they can stay locked together, that is all the better for Clutter up front. 2.3 is the gap as they exit the conveyor belt to start the penultimate lap. A dominant performance this could be for Clutter. He can keep that up. Well, do we start to see those lap marbles coming in? We might. Getting on around that far hairpin. On to the front stretch now. Coming across the line. And the gap has under a second. Under eight tenths, in fact. Clutter and Prim. Also watch behind, Hazy seems to be showing a little bit of speed. Final lap, and look at the speed coming off there. A huge bump by Prim. Needs one more go, is gonna size him up down the pit straight and around into the front stretch. Are they gonna make the move to the outside? It's not gonna work. Clutter takes the win by five hundredths of a second over Prim from Team Primary. Hazy finishes in third and on the podium, well in front of Mallard and Clementine. What a finish that was. Well, we knew that after qualifying, that was gonna be a really close race. And hey, Clementine, by the way, gets the bonus point for fastest lap. Doesn't finish on the podium, but they are gassed. 13 laps, more so than the usual that they have to run. <laughs> this was one entertaining Grand Prix. There's a lot of highlights to piece together here. So many marbles getting a chance up at the top. We had several different lap leaders, numerous lead changes. Here's the finish. There, the, no, no, actually, that was not the finish, but it was kind of a sizing up for the finish. There's the finish. <laughs> it was even closer, in fact. I loved that over-under from that move to take the lead. There you see the overall standings. The Hazers, really the top four, all stay at the top unchanged as we head into the Hive Drive. Thanks for watching, everyone.